Hey guys, Cappuccino just got revealed and I want to talk about her kit. It's gotta be one of the most confusing kits that Genshin ever released, if not the number one most confusing one. Even after watching 15 videos about her and YouTube guides about her, nobody knows what they're actually talking about because I think a lot of people are actually missing crucial information. <laughs> I also want to say that in the live stream when they try to explain her whole kit, I think even their explanation was so confusing. Also, I think they didn't understand her kit at all. Wait, so uh, Arlequino can give herself a bond of life, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I think so. I love the VAs, but I wish they could go more into details when they explain the kits. But yeah, it's not their fault. I blame all your worse. So after watching about 20 videos about Cappuccino, I think I finally understood how she works and I'm gonna simplify her whole kit. And I will probably miss some details. I just want you guys to understand how she works roughly, okay? I will not go into detail because we don't know the details. I will also explain which details we are missing about her. How about we start with her elemental skill, guys? If you press E, if you press the elemental skill, you basically do damage, first of all. Then... You will also mark the enemies that you've touched with her elemental skill. Now you have two options. You can basically grab these marks. One way to grab these marks is her charge tech. So if you push the charge tech button, you basically absorb these marks and, and they turn into bond of life. Bond of life is this red bar indicator around your HP bar. But you can also grab these marks or absorb these marks by pressing her ultimate ability her burst ability so you have two options as i said do a charge attack or do the old and then you will absorb the bond of life you get the red bar so what does the red bar do it basically buffs your damage of alikino i mean cappuccino but there is a requirement the bond of life or more like the red bar has to be greater or equal to your current HP. Then your normal charge and plunging attacks will be buffed and converted to pyro damage. That can also not be overridden. To put it very simple, so far, all you do is uh, press your elemental skill, then create the bond of life red bar with either a charge attack or your ult. So another big thing that's also very confusing is one of her passive abilities. Her passive ability, one of her scansions, I think, is that she cannot be healed in combat okay let's put emphasis whatever the word is i'm not english she cannot be healed in combat so here's the other confusing part about it they didn't mention if she can be healed out of combat i will just assume here yes she can so basically cappuccino cannot be healed in combat now let's talk a little bit more about the red bar. The red bar or bond of life will decrease with each normal attack that you do. So your goal here is to deplete it and that's basically your rotation. So the rotation is elemental skill, charge attack to get the red bar, then just use your normal attacks. One other thing that I'm confused about is does her charge attack also deplete the bond of life? Or maybe you cannot even do the charge attack. I I'm so confused about this kid, man. Let me know in the comments if you have answers. So I still didn't mention how she gets healed, right? Because she cannot get healed. But there is actually one way to heal her, which is her burst ability. Her burst ability will actually heal her with a bonus amount of the red bar that's still available. Which is kind of weird and confusing as well, because isn't the goal to deplete the bond of life? Or is the goal just to have bond of life always active? That's probably it. I think the kit is probably not that complicated. It's just the way how to explain it is very complicated. But if you get to play her for the first time, finally, when she comes out in two weeks, I think it's going to be very easy to understand it. But yeah, maybe somebody in the comments can actually help me with some of the confusing, confusing questions that I have about her. Because one other question that I have is when you swap to a different character, when Alicino has her Bond of Life active, is Bond of Life gone? Is Bond of Life on the other character as well? Can you not heal your other characters then? Because Bond of Life is a mechanic that used to absorb healing, basically. And you had to overheal it. So yeah, that's another question that I haven't... That still isn't answered without uh, getting into leaks and stuff. But maybe you guys know something. So the downsides with her is that you cannot heal her in fight. And you basically have to use a shielder, probably. If you are not a skilled player. Or you just play on the phone, I, I think. Most people will have problems with that. And I think some warnings should be given to the players who want to pull for her. That yeah, she's going to be skill heavy. Like if you're a bad player, you're going to have troubles. If you don't have a shielder. As I explained now hundred times that she cannot be healed without using her ult. Don't pull her if you think you can use her properly with Farina. Farina will actually make your playstyle with her even worse. Because Bond of Life should be greater 
than your HP bar, so you have the actual bonus damage. And Farina is gonna decrease your HP, so Bond of Life will not reach the HP bar. It is harder to reach the HP bar, and Bond of Life has to be longer, right? She will probably function best with a shielder if you wanna stay alive. And I know at this state of the game, many people don't like using shielders, so yeah. Another thing you should know is probably that she is a big on fielder, because anytime you have Bond of Life active, you shouldn't swap and just deplete the Bond of Life so you get the full bonus damage out of it. So you, she's gonna be like on field most of the time of your playtime. Play what you can do is probably pick two buffers for her bonus damage, but you don't even need a healer because she can heal herself. In that way, she's very similar to Nouvellet because Nouvellet takes up a long time when he's on field with the full rotation, and Nouvellet also heals himself by using one of his abilities, and Cappuccino also heals herself by using her burst. And yeah, that's basically her kit simplified and also some reasons why you should be careful about pulling her. And to come to some conclusion here, I think Alekino Cappuccino looks pretty fun to play as a very interesting character kit i think people are gonna have fun with it if they are skillful players players that prefer a relaxed play style in genshin you know after work having a cappuccino is probably the wrong way to do it because cappuccino will put your blood pressure higher in that sense you should not pull her if you want a relaxed play style now she's action pure she is a pyro user and most of the pyro users in the game are just simply very great because you can vaporize and you can melt so this is gonna buff up her damage a lot i also think that she will do probably more damage than any pyro user before but that's just some, some theory here it smells a lot like power creeping once again if she doesn't do a lot of damage it would be very weird to make a kit around not being healed being on field the whole time and having to heal herself with her burst i think it would be very punishing if she doesn't do a lot of damage then let me know guys if you're gonna pull for arlecchino cappuccino also let me know if you're confused as me about her kit because there's still some questions that i have and i hope i could actually explain to some people how how she works i know there are some details missing but that's not my fault guys they just did a really bad job in explaining it so thank you guys for watching subscribe if you want to see more videos in my style and i see you in the next one peace out bye bye <laughs> put simply yes whoa 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 wait a second <laughs> no wait i get it wait so uh, arlequino can give herself a bond of life right yeah, yeah. I, I think so i mean otherwise she'd have to chase down enemies who can put a bond of life on her <laughs> Actually, that, that sounds kind of funny. <laughs> I'd like to see that. Uh, and that brings us to our elemental skill. Our Lakino skill doesn't just damage enemies, it also applies a blood debt directive to any enemy that it hits, which will damage them periodically. And when she uses a charged attack or her elemental burst, she'll absorb nearby blood debt directives. This also allows her to obtain a bond of life based on the number of directives that she absorbed. So don't worry, Max. Oh, I was very concerned. <laughs> I know, I know you were. Okay.